The proceedings was meant to be the hearing of the appeal filed by Mr. Eitai Ojegede seeking the leave of a court to appeal the judgment of a federal high court which empowered the Independence National Electoral Commission to substitute his name for that of Mr. Jimo Ibrahim. At the opening of the proceedings, lawyers to all the parties announced appearances. But shortly after that, the chairman of the panel announced the receipt of a petition by Mr. B. Boroye, accusing the panel of likelihood of compromise and likelihood of bias in the suit. After reading some of the content of the petition, which bothers an allegation of judicial corruption, Justice Sankey inquires from the lawyers if the petitioner copied them. One after the other, the lawyers disassociated themselves from the petition. With the petitioner conspicuously absent from the court, the special panel takes a break to consider their position. Thirty minutes later, Justice Sankey announced that the panel has disqualified itself in the appeal and all other appeals connected to it. Lawyer to Mr. Eitayo Jigede condemns the petition and demands the prosecution of the petitioner. There are so many ways to obstruct the course of justice. It's not when you offer bribe alone. What happened today was that it was a deliberate attempt to obstruct the course of justice. The lawyer representing Mr. B. Boroye, the petitioner, denounced the petition, saying he is not aware of the petition. I categorically stated that I am not aware of that petition. And that's the truth of it. I didn't know about it. It doesn't have my uh, imprimatur or contribution or suggestion whatsoever. So it was just so sudden that that was brought to our attention that the petition had been written by the first respondent. The man in the eye of a storm, Mr. Jimo Ibrahim, commends the panel for disqualifying itself. Even apart from Boroye's petition that led to this disbandment of the other panel, we have entered our appeal at the Supreme Court. Resolving the crisis over who is the true candidate of the People's Democratic Party in the November 26th governorship election in Ondo State has now been thrown back to the president of the Court of Appeal, who is expected to reconstitute a new panel. Thank you.